So here we're told that this table gives some information about the heights of 80 girls. And then we have some of the information here. So we have the least height, which is 133 centimetres. The greatest height, so between those two are the range, going from the greatest to the least. We have the lower quartile, so the bottom 25% are below this height of 145 centimetres. The upper quartile, which the top 25% are taller than. And then we have the median, which is basically sits between the quartiles. It's halfway. It's basically the middle height. So half the girls are taller and half of the girls are shorter than 151 centimetres. And I'm then asked to draw a box plot to represent this information. And I'm given a space to do that. So I have the heights along the bottom on this axis. And I basically need to draw in a box plot, which shows the information that I've been given in the table. So here I'm looking at the information and I'm thinking about the kind of general way a box plot is drawn. So it's going to have the main box in the centre. And this box is going to have lines at the lower quartile, the median and then the upper quartile contained within this box. And then there's also going to be the tails or the whiskers of this box plot, which are going to represent the values that don't lie within the interquartile range. They don't lie between the lower and upper quartiles. And these are going to extend out to the lowest and greatest heights. And that's going to show the range. So if I start here with the least height, which I have as 133 centimetres, now this is going to be one of the tails of the box plot. So I could draw in a line for at 133. And that's going to be the bottom end, the bottom tail. And then similarly for the greatest height at 170 centimetres, this is going to be at the other end, so the other tail or the other whisker at 170 centimetres. So I can draw that one in as well. And I'm going to draw all of the vertical lines in before I attach them all together, just so that I can see exactly what's happening with the box in the centre. So then I can draw the centre box in. So if I take the lower quartile at 145 centimetres and the median at 151. It's important to remember here that the median doesn't need to be halfway between the lower and upper quartile. We're going to see this in the diagram. But then we also have the upper quartile at 157 here. Now these centre three lines can be joined together to form this box in the centre of the box plot. And then I'm going to attach the two tails to this box and these show the range of the data. And that is a box plot with all five lines that I need to include, so the five pieces of data in the table, and that's going to get me all three of the marks here as it's plotted fully correctly. Now, if I have plot plotted two of the points correctly, so the whiskers are all part of the box, I would have gotten the first mark. For plotting three correctly, that would give me the second mark, and for having them all correct, it gives me all three marks for this question. And I'm now asked to work out an estimate for the number of these girls with a height between 133 centimetres and 157 centimetres. So if I refer back to the box plot that I've just drawn, at 133 centimetres, that's going to be this lower bound, so the shortest, the smallest height. And then up to 157 centimetres, that's here at the upper quartile. So we're basically asked to estimate how many girls have a height between the lower end of the range, so the bottom, the bottom end, the whisker at the lower end, the tail, and the upper quartile. Now, if we break this down into sections, so between the lowest value and the lower quartile, this is going to have 25% of 
of all of the girls' height. So 25% of the heights are going to sit in this section. So a quarter of the total heights. And then yet again, between the lower quartile and the median, there's going to be another 25%. Between the median and the upper quartile, another 25 and then between the upper quartile and the top end of the range, another 25. So that's how the upper quartiles and, and the quartiles and interquartile range work. So there's 25% of the data is going to sit in each region. Now, if we're effectively looking for the number of girls' heights which rest between this point and this point here, we're going through 75% of this data in total, so three lots of 25%. And if there were 80 heights in total, we can take this 80 and multiply it by 75% or three quarters, so three lots of a quarter. And that's going to come out with an answer of 60. So there are going to be 60 girls with a height between 133 and 157 centimetres as an estimate here. So that's how we'd go about this question. We'd get the first of our marks for basically multiplying by three quarters or 75% and then the second for coming to the correct final answer of 60 here.